Hello, I'm Alex, and you're watching The Palm Off, a programme where I'll show you all the stuff I've been force-fed with, and I'll pass on to you. Stuff like this. Goats fuck about on steel ribbon. Nigel Farage visits Kent. Yoko Ono clears the air. Baywatch goes fetish. Admiral Akbar lookalike and UKIP leader Nigel Farage said that he felt rather awkward on the train journey to Kent the other day. The poor fellow spoke about how he managed to travel from London without hearing his native tongue. He said, I wonder what's really going on. That's right, Nigel. That train is a well-known hotbed of terrorist activity. Those Polish and Romanians are just waiting to strike. Immigrants over here taking all our jobs, the ones we didn't want. Helping our economy, not wanting to be stereotypical. They're happily painting our houses, they've set up supermarkets, sausage. And they're caring for our elderly. It's a trap! You just can't repel racism of that magnitude. I know you're big fans of the Electric Light Orchestra, ELO. I came across this little cover this week. You're in for a real treat. hell. Why is this woman still famous? The only bit of talent this woman ever had in her was very sadly shot many years ago. Oh, someone just tell her to go away, enjoy the royalties and stay off the telly. I hope that's them escorting her out the building. Lindsay Lohan has supposedly written a list of 36 people that she's been knobbed by. And these are just the celebrities. It seems that many names have been scrubbed off, a thought to be because they're actually married. Names that haven't been scrubbed off. Justin Timberlake, Zac Efron, Joaquin Phoenix, Colin Farrell, Heath Ledger, some bloke off the wanted. Oh, you know what? I can't be doing with this. I'm boring myself just talking about it. It's not news. Slut. As usual, my wife's viewing habits have led me to this fine piece of television. My name is Jennifer, and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. Fantastic. And sometimes hair be in there, and I have to pull it out. Because that'd just be disgusting. I make sure, like, when my mom's not going to be in her room, tiptoeing in here to get it. The reason why I'm not eating my own mattress is because I ate my mattress already. Not because you pissed the bed. It enters my body and leaves my body. It goes through my, my system and goes out. She wouldn't need toilet paper, would she? I like toilet paper. Because <laughs> I have seen it in the toilet. It comes out in whole pieces. If I was that desperate to get it out, I could take it and wash it, do everything I did to it, and I could use it again. Oh. My name is Nicole, I'm 31 years old, and I'm addicted to pony play. Okay, good try, good try. Good pony. What the fuck? Being a pony is amazing. Yeah. Nice pony. She looks like some messed up minstrel. I love my addiction to pony play more than flies love crap. Flies love crap. She's <laughs> ah. <laughs> got a mouthful of broken biscuits. My name is Heather, and I'm addicted to drinking paint. Well, that's good. So I'll put that into my mouth and suck the excess off, take that off. And now you have what I drink. Mm. 
I will always look for a private place. Oh, good. Now, this is the best part. Mm. I actually am looking for paint markers. If you don't mind, I know this is going to sound strange, but... Do you have a use for these? Truthfully, I do. Those are fairly yeah. potent chemicals. So I got your lab results back, and your kidney function is a little bit abnormal. What are you surprised at? Could that be because of this, or...? No, because of all the biscuits and gravy you're eating. Fucking people. Oh. And those idiots from Essex are back on TV. So you looking smart then, dude? What? For the 11 series. To be honest, I mean, look, mate, I know you. I know that your heart's in the right place. I know you was trying to help him out. Is he trying to get beaten up? Oh, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. For instance, like last week, Charlie posted a tweet and it was a screen grab. Why is that tip wearing two shirts? And really? the message said... Oh, you know what? Do yourself a favour. Don't watch any telly for a while. A secondary school teacher from Williton, Somerset, has been threatened with the sack, social services, suing, and even imprisonment for putting sellotape over the mouths of her class. My name is Andrea, I'm 23 years old, and I'm addicted to eating tape. The teacher, who was having trouble controlling two-thirds of her rowdy class, decided that it might be a fun way to set all the little shits down. Apparently it worked, and the kids even found it amusing. But of course, once the parents found out, all hell broke loose. Suddenly blood was spilt once the tape came off. The kids are now allergic to adhesive, rashes, sores, skin grafts, you name it. But 20 kids ruining the education for the other 10. That's not a story, no one talks about that. I remember coming home once, telling my mum of a teacher who pulled me across the room by my ear. I decided to tell her because my ear stung all day. And I tell you, that was a mistake because my mum absolutely throttled me for misbehaving in the first place. That's the common sense needed. Sod the fact that little Johnny Pistain lost his carefully sculpted bum fluff when the tape came off. The parents need to realise that they have responsibility for their kids' behaviour. And if their little prince falls foul, give them the kick he fucking deserves and applaud the teacher for taking light-hearted action to control a difficult class. There, I said it. Common sense. I'm going to finish off this episode talking about the sad news of the passing of former Labour MP Tony Benn, a man who stood up for the downtrodden worker and had real belief in welfare and the NHS. If only they had more guys like him, I'd have more faith in the system. One of Parliament's good guys. If you enjoyed this episode, I would really appreciate it if you would share this video and even subscribe. Thank you for watching. That's enough. <laughs>